Hello my YouTube family, this is Anthony and I am back with a project share, just some items that I am getting ready to um, pack up for my craft fair, which is tomorrow. So these are some of the Halloween items that I will be selling. Um, Okay, first I'll start off with these tumblers. Now these are the Dollar Tree tumblers. I purchased a orange one, the green one, and the white one. And I was inspired to make these um, by Brittany Polchik. She has a YouTube channel and I will link her video uh, in the description box where she showed some of her uh, craft fair items and these also. Now hers are super super adorable. She had all kinds of cute Halloween items to use on hers. I pretty much just used some things that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. I went through my um, jewelry, junk jewelry and my beads and things and layered them on here to come up with what I did. Um, so like this one here, it has one of the the huge eyeballs. I added some gold stickles to the to center there, but I included beads. There's a cross charm. Um, I used some of the glowing in the dark like snakes and spiders. There's another big black spider. Just all kinds of shiny stuff. I even have a little googly, the colored eyes from um, Dollar Tree in there. So I don't know. I thought they turned out Halloweenish. I used this diamond wrap from Walmart, the black and silver. I even added on one of the little, uh, what are they? They were like in little confetti packages at Dollar Tree with the bling and it had the little skulls and things in there. So that's the green one. And then this one here, just a mod podge of spooky looking things. Um, these little skull heads, they were rings. I cut the back off of them. I added stickles to the eyes to make them spooky. I have the uh, colored spiders. snakes and there's a little glow-in-the-dark rat there's all kinds of bugs and bats and beads and googly eyes so that's the orange one and then this one I use the red uh, diamond wrap all kinds of bugs and be beads and things so I just made three, see how they go, but I thought they turned out pretty cute. So then I made these little garbage pail thingies. <laughs> I added in some of the pencil packs that I make and then filled the rest with candy. But what I did was I decorated the tops of the garbage pails. So I did the same concept as with the tumblers, but not as much things. I just added some, you know, some eyes, uh, eyeballs, a googly eye, and some of the spiders and critters and things. And these would be great to set on your desk during the, the October month. Um, you can put candy in it after you've emptied it. You can refill it or you can just use it for a little trash can. I think these would be cool in um, your children's locker. So, you know, I picked up the little black trash cans at Walmart. 
in the back to school things. Um, but Dollar Tree gets some of the other colors in at times. They go pretty fast. So anyway, I picked up four of the black ones at Walmart and decorated them up. another one. There's the top. And I just filled them up with some goodies and the pencil pack. And this one is the last one. Okay. So here are some more of the pencil packs that I made. They come with four pencils and an eraser. I used some of the Dollar Tree pencils. I used some uh, Target pencils and erasers. And there may be some even in there from Walmart. But I made a bunch of those. I made um, these Halloween message centers. Like this one here. It just has a little notepad. It says spooky. And I added a pen. Tied a ribbon. So I made two Halloween ones. I showed some other ones that I had made in my other project share for my craft fairs. So I made two Halloween ones. So this is the longer list path. Added some ribbon, a large confetti piece from Walmart. And these are the little mini pens that I picked up at Walmart last year. There's This one even has some washi tape on it from Dollar Tree. So I made those. Then I made a bunch of these little bags here. They're little grab bags. And I sold these last year at the craft fair. And I just sell these for a dollar a bag. And they have candy and little novelty toys in them. Okay. So I picked up some of the little tin tails and made little um, little gift buckets out of them. They have candy, novelty toys, these little skeletons here that I picked up at, I think I got these at Dollar Tree. I know I had some from Dollar Tree and some from Walmart. And I added some twine to them to make a necklace and I just tied it. Well, I wrapped it around here and tied the bow around there to hold them up. But these will make cute little gifts for children. Um, there's not really any small pieces in there, but if you do put tiny little pieces or hard candy, you should uh, let the parents know in case they're purchasing them for a younger child. But mine should be okay for ages three and up. So candy and they also have bubbles in there. This one has some Skittles and Hershey. So I have two black tails and an orange one. And then these little cups here, these are just the little cups from Dollar Tree. Um, and I just put candy in these and put them into the the little bags from Dollar Tree. And now these, I would sell these for a dollar as well. So those are some of the items I have ready to go for the craft fair. Then I made this larger gift bucket. It has one of the, uh oh, I knocked the cup out of there. I put in the Haribo Ghostly Gummies. Then, do you remember these? Dollar Tree used to carry these all the time. I'm not sure if they still have these. these this was in my stash of stuff. So I put that in there. I put in some uh, mini clips from Target. A jumbo pin that I got from Walmart. It has a packet of greeting cards, an assorted pack, I think there's like 15 
greeting cards in there. I also put this notepad, list pad, magnetic list pad in there. And then I had made up a bunch of these also. Um, they're the little hot cocoa pouches. So I threw one of those in there. And then the cup that I dropped, let me see if I can pick it up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. A little Halloween cup I included and then a package of the Halloween uh, facial tissues from Target and made a little gift set. So that is what I've been doing to get prepared for my craft fair. So thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.